Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Arrows. Now if you're like me, you use a lot of arrows because I do guys. I use a ton of arrows for everything. And when I first started playing Tears of the Kingdom, it seemed like I was constantly low on arrows. But then you guys told me a couple of places to go to get some easy arrows. And then as I kept playing the game, I just kind of figured out what I needed to do to collect these arrows. And I just want to share it with you guys. Now, some of the obvious places to get arrows is buying them from Beetle. And guys, he is located at every single stable. So you can always go to Beetle and he's going to have some arrows for you. Now, another obvious place is to buy them in the shops. However, in Breath of the Wild, if we had over 50 arrows, they would not restock these shops. So guys, if you're buying them from Beetle or from the shops and you want them to restock them, all you have to do is just leave the area, sit by a fire until the next morning, and they will have them completely restocked. However, this can get a little pricey. So let me show you how we can get a lot of arrows relatively for free. Okay, so one method that was used quite a bit in Breath of the Wild is just to run around and collect the arrows that the enemies are shooting at you. However, you can only collect like five or six from each enemy and you run the risk of getting hit. But not only that, once they stop spawning, you either have to leave the area or run away from them and come back to get the arrows to respawn. And this is just extremely time consuming. But if you happen to have a wooden shield, you can hold your wooden shield out and the arrows will stick in the shield. And then when you put your shield away, you can collect the arrows. But eventually this shield is going to break. So let me just show you some better ways. Now, several of you guys have told me to go back to the archery shrines and one of which is right here next to the Tabantha Great Bridge. And we're gonna find 20 arrows that will respawn guys so once you get done with the shrines just go back here and i use the blood moon as a good indicator so every blood moon i just go back to these shrines the next shrine is going to be in the sky islands right here in the tabantha sky now you can reach this just by jumping from lindor's brow skyview tower but it's the same thing guys if you've already completed these shrines all you have to do is just run in and grab your arrows now that's an easy 40 arrows if you ask me. Now the next best place to get arrows, guys, is by busting the wooden and metal crates that you see sitting around. Now there's lots of them just sitting around with no enemies, like these here in Terrytown. Now if you don't know where Terrytown is, you can find it right here in the northeastern part of your map and it's surrounded by Lake Akala. And another good place to find some free boxes is right here in the Gerudo Canyon State. And guys, when you leave the area, these boxes are going to respawn. However, it takes longer for the arrows to respawn. So again, I just use the blood moon and I come back to these spots to collect these arrows. And the Gerudo stable, guys, it's located right here in the southwestern part of your map, right before you get to the Gerudo desert. Okay, so guys, the next method I use when collecting these arrows requires you to have Majora's Mask. Now, to be able to get Majora's Mask, you have to make your way through the Colosseum that is in the depths and this Colosseum is full of Lynels. Now if you're scared to fight a Lynel or you're just a little anxious to fight a Lynel, I'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description and I can show you an easy way to kill all of these Lynels and it requires zero skill whatsoever. Now if you have your champions on you might want to go to your inventory and dismiss them because we don't want them shooting at any of these enemies. But all we have to do is just wear Majora's Mask and we can just sneak into their camps and bust all of the crates that are around them. Just be aware that this mask does not work on all enemies and you do not want to accidentally hit one of these enemies because if you do, then they're gonna attack you back. But I'm gonna show you a couple of good camps that I will frequent usually after a blood moon. Like this one here, it's located just a little north of the Thundra Plateau. And guys, I usually collect anywhere from 10 or 15 arrows here. Okay, so the next place I go, guys, is just right here at the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower. Now guys, this is a great place to get arrows. I usually will collect anywhere from 20 to 30 arrows here. The only problem with this place is there are lots of enemies here. And again, 
we don't want to hit them because we don't want them to attack us. So sometimes I'll just run around because they will follow you until I can kind of create some space between myself and them to where I can bust these crates. And another thing you want to be really mindful of is make sure there's not a bomb barrel or something hiding beside or behind these crates. And another real easy camp to get to is just right here in Hyrule Field, just a little north of the East Post Ruins. And I will usually pick up anywhere from about 10 or 15 arrows here. And another place that's real easy to get to right here in Hyrule Field is this treehouse encampment. And guys, I will also usually pick up about 10 or 15 arrows here. But one of my favorite places to get arrows, guys, is in the depths, especially right below Hyrule Field because that's where a lot of the encampments are. And don't forget, guys, you can use your Ultra Hand and just pick these crates up and drop them if you don't want to use your weapon. Plus, using the Ultra Hand, it scares the enemy. So a lot of times, they'll just run away from you. So that can create space between you and them, and you don't have them following you around. Now, something else you can also do is drop food. If you drop some food, they'll go to the food, and they'll leave you alone, and you can go and collect your arrows. Or if you're in the depths, you can go and collect this Zona. Another good thing to do is you can throw some puff shrooms. That will also give you some space between the enemies. That way you don't accidentally hit them. But now, if you would like to see where you can collect some hardy salmon, click here. And I really appreciate you guys watching. And thank you so much for over 37,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, if you guys enjoy content like this, show me with a like. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And I'll just catch you guys next time.